Hi everyone, I'm making a quick video more to show you how to get your Windows subsystem for Linux to local host answering from other devices on the local area network, right? My phone and this laptop and my televisions and my wife's phone, all of those are on like a 192.168. It happens to be 2.56 this host, right? So if I turn the magnifier on and I go to my command prompt and do IP config as the command in Windows, I'm going to get my local IP. Now this is the IP address that other devices are going to put in to reach this computer. But I need to do what's called port forwarding to forward my, and I'm going to show you a different prompt here, Right? If I run Ubuntu and do ifconfig, it gives me this 172.29.22.125 on Ethernet 0. Now this is where the containers are listening and the ports are being forwarded. Locally, if I do localhost and say on demand, it renders this page. Now how do we do the port forwarding? We have to use a tool called PowerShell. All right, Windows PowerShell, and I recommend you right click it and run as administrator, and then you're going to be in the PowerShell prompt. Now we can say show our port proxy. So net sh, the net shell interface, port proxy show v4 to v4, and I don't have any. Let's turn on the forwarding. Now this is a little bit complex, but Bear with me. We're going to net shell interface port proxy add a v4 to v4 listening on 8000. And the listen address is that 192168. And what am I connecting to? What are we forwarding to? We're forwarding to 8000. And then I'm using a variable here. The connect address is the WSL host name. And we trim that. Now, if I press enter and we check our show V to four, there we've set up our port forwarding. And does the, do these IPs look familiar, right? Our windows IP, IP config at the command prompt, if I can find it, this IP port forwarding over 8,000 to the WSL Ubuntu IP, which we get from IF config. Now we could hard code that. I like to use the variable because this is always going to be a different IP every time we reboot our computer. This IP tends to always be the same, so I don't variableize that. Now let's see this in action. We have to then, let's try this on my phone, on demand. And we can see, you might not be able to see with the glare, but there's the on-demand center. And if we call up my server logs, we can actually watch. You can see here that someone has loaded on-demand. Now let's trigger some automation from the phone, right? So let's learn um, VLAN. So I've clicked learn VLAN on my phone. And if I didn't, right, there is the learn VLAN running in the background. Now, I don't have my VPN up, so this is going to crash, but that's not the point of the demo. So again, to recap, let me take the magnifier off and back up here. We get, in my case, I get my Merlin server up and running, and that's in this command prompt here. I need to know my Windows IP address, which is from ipconfig, and it's going to be your IPv4 address on your home network. To get the... We don't necessarily need the IP from Ubuntu, but if you want to verify, it's ifconfig. But again, our variable, the WSL host name, trimmed, will give us that address dynamically. Now, from any device on the 192.168.256 network, we can get to Merlin. Thank you.